Today on How It's Made. Wood burning stoves. We're getting all fired up to bring you this story. Orthoses. Brace yourself for an inside look at these limb supports. Ballet slippers. The whole song and dance. And buses. We'll check out every stop on the production line. Wood burning stoves do more than create a cozy ambiance. They're also powerful enough to heat an entire house. More and more people are installing a wood stove as an additional heat source in their home. It's economical, and the new low emission models are more environmentally friendly. Every wood stove has a fire baffle, a stainless steel barrier above the burning wood that shields the top from the intense heat. The baffle also slows down the smoke exiting by the chimney, which reduces the upward draft that the rising heat creates. Production begins with large steel sheets that are 8 millimeters thick. A computer-guided laser cuts out pieces that workers will shape into the various parts of the stove. The laser slices through the metal quickly and with extreme precision. And because it cuts with intense light rather than punching force, the pieces have neat, smooth edges. Workers use a strong magnet to lift and transfer the pieces to the next production area. The largest piece becomes the surround, the part that forms the sides and back of the wood stove. Workers use a machine called a press brake to shape it. A computer guides this large hydraulic press to bend the flat steel in exactly the right spots. Now they position the surround in an assembly jig to keep it steady during welding. After welding the front of the stove to the surround, they weld the air intake, which allows oxygen to enter the stove and feed the fire. Next, they weld the top, the fire baffle, and air channels near the top, which are also designed to feed the fire with oxygen. The quality of welding in a wood stove is critical because the joints have to be able to withstand extreme heat. Now they weld the bottom of the stove. It has a hole in the middle through which you sweep the embers to an ash pan below. Now they weld the flue collar, the steel ring that attaches the stove to the flue pipe that leads to the chimney. Workers now bolt the stove to a pedestal. The pedestal is also made of welded steel. Meanwhile, the door takes shape. They glue a fiberglass rope to the perimeter of the door frame using a silicone-based glue that's resistant to extreme temperatures. This cord prevents air from seeping in through the door and fueling the fire out of control. After installing the locking door handle, they weld the door hinges. The stove's interior, where the wood burns, is known as the combustion chamber. They line it with bricks to protect the walls from warping in the intense heat. Bricks do deteriorate over time, but it's easy to replace them. The last steel part they install is the cap for the ash pan. Now an automated conveyor transfers the stove to the paint station where a robotic arm sprays on a coat of heat-resistant paint. Once the paint air dries, a worker removes the door to install its glass panel. This isn't your run-of-the-mill window glass. It contains ceramic, which enables it to withstand temperatures up to 1,090 degrees Celsius. With the glass panel in place, workers can apply decorative features and information stickers. Then, 
They put the door back on and lock it shut. They rivet on the company logo. Then install a fan in the back. The fan blows out the heat that the stove generates. When the wood-burning stove leaves the factory, its coat of paint is dry but not yet cured. The heat cures it when you fire up your stove for the first time.